This conference will now be recorded. So, can you please launch uh, so login to your AC2 instance? This is when you have counsel. Yeah, yeah, login. And guys, please practice more. There are so many things you have to learn along with the class. Okay, so if you can go to my Google Drive, you will come to know that so many tasks, so many interview questions. Okay, so compulsory, it is your responsibility. Control C, you added a double quotes also. So control C will cancel any command. General Linux. Okay, so today we'll talk about the storage, how storage works in AWS. As I told already, there are multiple types of storages we have, guys. Okay, like EBS, EFS, S3. First, we are talking about EBS. So, how to check currently available storage? LSBLK command. Okay, from console, how to check it? To select your server under the description tab you can check that currently one block device so and uh, the same disk in, in that only we have root disk that's the reason it's showing two times i mean root disk in the sense uh, root uh, i mean os os he disclosed the only root device and would and the main disk and mati server key so it is the main disk for this operating system okay uh this uh, ec2 instance now let's attach so how to get the full details about this disk means you can just click on it you'll get the volume id you can click on this or else come down here also click on volumes so while creating uh, ec2 instance if you give the tag the same tag will come to this disk also. If you don't give tag, you don't get. See? Here you can check that attached information. This is the easy to understand. Okay, let's attach one. Have we given name for your server? Okay, I think after creation you given. I'm creating a additional disk space. So can you please open a paint session? So generally guys in Windows, let's take my laptop. Okay. How many hard disk I will have? One. Okay, one hard disk. So this is my laptop and here this is my OS. So only one hard disk is there. So, but what I did, I did multiple partitions. So 
see c drive d drive g drive why like that because always os should be in separate disk if something corrupted uh, os corrupted still the other data you can re recover this data this data okay so uh, like instead of making multiple disk within the available disk i did a partition logically not physically take like i've got it i've got it physically like i did not do anything logically i partition the so first hard disk i mapped with folder c that is called as drive c drive oka folder ki oka party oka disk ni map chesthe danni drive one this is the folder name i mapped with the first hard disk because i cannot access the disk hard disk directly compulsory folder i have to attach so logically i did partitions okay like uh, i mapped with the c folder i mapped with the d folder i mapped with e or you can give any name instead of cd okay that's where it is called as c drive drive one and can't know because it is mapped with the disk it is also folder folder plus drive both okay now but if you in go inside these are folders only because these are not directly mapped with the hard disk okay now so drive file system or drive uh, and folder difference enti file system drive both are same but folder ante normal folder so but uh, drive ante if a folder is mapped with a hard disk that is called as drive okay in linux we call it as a file system as of now see they did one partition it's clearly visible and uh, they mapped with the slash actually partition not required just a minute guys okay actually partition not required but in the image that was there i did not do anything whatever the image i have taken right so in that image they did like that so the same uh format i got it now okay now this is fine now here let's uh like why we need a partitions why we need a separate uh, for os separate for uh, operating applications and all because if something problem to os so still you can recover this other partitions okay now so that is the reason we make separate uh, data not same okay na? so here also i need separate uh, hard disks i don't want to go with the primary hard disk okay let's do that so create volume how much you need maybe i'm taking only 10 gb run necessarily it's chargeable right ah sorry one more thing no one thing So attach the hard disk so you should know something so guys here first you should understand the term uh, like location okay so as i told these are called as regions geographical location is called as region okay now a location lo undi okay example it is north virginia now that is the region name okay now geographical location and within the geographical location again data center a data center b data center c those are called as availability zones so guys in terms of location there are two terminologies one is location is called as not, uh, not i mean region the geographical location, a location lo undo danni region antar and within that location data center a buildings data center a data center b c those are called as availability zones okay 
So here you should know that availability you know, to attach first of to attach the disk to that particular EC2 instance. You should know that availability zone. You know. Okay. So this is US East 1D. let's give tag always tag is the best practice you should give the tag server so name and this is the second disk like this okay na? and one more thing guys here obviously now uh, if you buy a hard disks also if you buy hard disk you'll get different types of hard disks in the market do you know SATA, HDE, IDE, hard disk guys? Market lo chala types of hard disks unte. You'll get different performance guys. So here also I have multiple types of EBS volumes. Hardware difference unte. Based on your performance. So like why you need this disk? What your example, you are using this EC2 instance for Hadoop application to store the Hadoop data or big data or SAP or database. So based on that, you should take the disk. Okay, here if you go to Google, EBS volumes types. So nowadays the vendors also, they are providing the recommendations. If you are using database, please use this in AWS. You, you will get the recommend. I mean, suggestions also. What is the reason why use cases? Hmm. High performance SSD volume design. Based on the type, you will be charged, guys. Even in normal hard disks also, if you buy, maybe go to Google. Okay, now you will get different uh, hard disks. Okay, like SATA hard disk, HDE hard disk. You get different performance days, hardware difference. Mm -hmm. Here, different types of hardware will be there. Here, it's they are saying something like um, maybe generation two, generation three, something like that. It is HDD. HDD. So in the same way, SATA hard disks will be there. So hardware difference. Okay, in a similar way, in EBS volume also we have. That. You can see the use cases. Generally, the default uh, is GP2, GP3. The primary disk is there, right? That is GP2 type only. So here also just example only, right? So I'm taking GP2. Otherwise, if you take other types, you will be charged based on that. Okay, it's up to you. So when you add uh, your disk, you should know that why you are adding that. What is the purpose? Which application data I'm going to store? This is my disk. Now select this. It's not it attached, just you created the disk in the tree availability zone. Now select attach volume. 
and uh, now it will show all the EC2 instance in that availability zone in your account. How many EC2 instance you have? It will show all. You have to select the server. Okay, na particular server which server you are going to attach. Attached. Now you can see the server side. See, I have the disk. But see here it is not showing mount point. Mount point means the mapping point. I mean the file system, the drive. So there is no drive. I have to do it. Generally, guys, when you attach a new hard disk in your laptop, what is your first approach? In your sir, first. Guys. Guys, when you attach. We format it. Exactly. Here also will be format. Okay. Just a minute, guys. Guys, always join the same link. If I don't update in the class, means class is there. Class lake up with any update, just the class law group law. If I don't update, means class is there don't ping in the group so don't please try to avoid unnecessary messages like hi okay okay because i have multiple groups guys right unnecessarily it will divert my concentration okay now so miru class ever in a replace the coda so if i say something example see now someone said uh class is there please if you see that message reply to her already class started okay now so please don't uh, wait for my link link will be same every day until i update okay now so generally 15 days the link will be same if i don't update means definitely class up class is there Okay, now so don't wait for my link. If class is not there, then only I will ping you in the group chat. Class unnane ardam le nino. See, even for uh, like ten minutes, if you don't ping, if I don't ping also, please wait. Still, don't send messages like class is there, is class started. These kind of messages, please avoid. Okay, now because sometimes technical problems I may have. So maybe server uh, taking updates, maybe the application taking updates. So we don't know, right? Sometimes it happens. Please wait for my input. Don't send any messages until I send you. Okay, so please cooperate with me. Yeah, now this is like new hard disk. So here also I will format guys. So what is the format command? This is the format command. Okay, and I have to give the full path. Actually, it's not showing the full path. Generally, the devices available under slash dev path, guys. Slash dev means devices. So what is my disk name? This is my disk name. So guys, what is the file system type in Windows? Hmm? What is the NTFS. file system type? NTFS. NTFS okay so here if you click on it can you right click on this see it is ntfs okay and here itself you have can you please right click on one more tab the format option okay so this is the command in linux and the uh, file system type is ext4 there are multiple types tune ext2 ext3 ext4 xfs okay so generally we use this one ext4 okay format completed now what i have to do I have to provide the folder name for my disk. 
example in this server i have an application sap application so that sap application has one folder guys so every application has its own folder okay now the default folder by default okay so you have to remember that which application running here that folder name you have to know that if you google it you will come to know that guys google it so based on practice you can remember that okay now so based on application the folder will be there example i am running one uh, httpd application here in this ec2 instance web service okay now then the folder name is slash var slash www slash html and the slash var in the ww only danik in the html that is the folder name so i have to map that folder so like example i am creating a folder called slash okay now under slash app folder i am creating okay now i am mapping it mount my disk name what is my disk name so lsblk see and dfnh also will show you full details see dfnh also it will show you the file system details So like TMPA, these are like uh, basically temporary, not related to file systems. So here my PC is right, the right, same same output, similar output. And this one, how many hard disk? Maybe some hard disk. If you don't want it, it won't show here. In DF-H, only file systems are uh, visible, but here all disks. File system map in a map up in a disk will jump How many disks are there? See, this is how we attach the additional disk. Now let's take few tasks quickly. Remember what is mount? <coughs> Drive. Mount is nothing but drive, mount point. So as I, told, as I told in Windows, we are calling it as a drive, right? So here we call it as a mount point, drive, file system, and the same. Terminology difference, aren't they? Okay. okay, thank you. So mapping, we are mapping the disk with a drive that is called as mount or mount point, mapping, mounting creating file system, creating drive, and the same. Okay, na? mounting is nothing but mapping the disk with a folder that is called as drive. So now slash app is the drive. So two drives I have, slash slash app. And the slash app in the now, if, if you store anything under slash app, now it will be available under XVDF. E disk will store out of the store Okay, yeah, that is called as mount point. So how to extend the EBS volume? Example, now I have two hard disks. Maybe this is 10 GB hard disk now, okay? So let's make it uh, the original disk itself, this one. Leave it about this part. Okay, you may have secondary disk or not. So at least primary disk on the So we have primary disk, right? So I want to increase this disk. This disk. This is the primary disk. I can see that. Right? This is the how can I know that which is primary disk? I have two disks out of that. This is the primary. And take the OS on the other. OS install in the inflow. Okay. Now I want to increase that size. So what is the current size, guys? 
करेंट साइज इज एट जीबी ओरिजिनल डिस्क साइज एट जीबी उन्नी सो आई डिट पार्टीशियन राइट नाउ I have to increase that storage like to 15 GB. So and after that, it should be updated here also. It could have gone like update of all of the 15 GB and Raval Naku. It should show 15 GB. That is my target. So Google it. Hmm. How to extend the root volume, root EBS volume. How to extend root x? How to extend root EBS volume? Second one. Can we decrease the EBS volume? If we ten GB only, then eight GB only. Can we decrease it? Can we decrease it? Yes, we can. Okay. Right. Can we decrease the EBS volume? Good. Hmm. Can we attach the EBS volume from another EB an another uh, availability zone? Example, my server is there in. One A region, one one A availability zone. My disk is there in one B. Okay, can we attach EBS volume from another E another availability zone? Can we attach EBS volume from another availability zone? I hope you. Understood that what is that availability zone and region? Any questions there? Did you understand what is availability zone? Hmm. But I want to attach. Even if not possible, I need that here. How can I attach? So here. Uh, Do say say in this way. How can I attach EBS volume? How can I instead of can we use how can I? Hmm. How can I unbutton? Na kawali compulsory. Me chale ek pane na kawali. So the what are the alternatives? At least you have to show me. Okay. Now my EC2 instance is T2 micro. What is T2 micro means, guys? T2 micro can any CPU so say one CPU, one GB RAM I will get. So example later point of time that is not enough for me. Maybe my application uh, performing very slow. Okay, so it's not enough for me. So how can I add CPU and RAM to My EC2 instance. Okay, yeah. This is how uh, like few question. Now the next part is backup. So guys, in real time, backups are very 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 important. Okay, now backup this code and data backup. So, example. Now you launch uh, your server. Okay, so the disk is available. Uh, additional disk. Now the data. Your application team start using the disk. Uh, disk. This folder. They started using. Uh, okay, they are keeping their data now. Their application data. So daily they do changes, they do configuration, they do they add new files, right? So backup is important for that in real time. At any cost, data backup should be there. Okay. So how to take the backup? There are multiple ways, guys. Even some third-party tools could only. 
if if it is a very big application very big project separate backup team will be there okay now so it is not our responsibility there are separate tools available complete file system backups they will take for every in every server all the file system they will take the backup by using those tools okay when you launch your server you will set up the backup the tools uh, agents on together backup agents backup tools you will install here so the backup team will take the control of that so back in every day they take the backup at morning four o'clock six o'clock based on their uh, availability automation they don't do manually so it's uh, their tools will take care every day four o'clock time schedule just with the prati server they'll schedule a time so automatically the backup at the aws level backup also we have to see okay now if it is small project you may not have backup team so you have to take the backup there are two things we can do to take the backup okay one is a my backup complete ec2 instance backup okay now a my backup means uh basically complete ec2 instance backup how to take ec2 instance backup simple guys select your server right click on it click create image there are two advantages if i take ema backup guys em ema backups these kunte two advantages unnai okay there are two advantages if i take ema backup so give your example one is for backup purpose why you need backup example i am taking uh, i am something since six months i am using this ec2 instance okay now um, i want to update my os or file maybe something application side or day to day i am also doing changes okay uh before doing changes before upgrading your os okay now if you create a ami from that ec2 instance so that is nothing but backup example once uh, like uh, now you take in the backup you logged into the ec2 instance and you did some change now it's corrupted okay now not working application work or what like upgrade chase in the just keep it aside now you can launch one more ec2 so what is this image that image name what you what exactly you have what os what uh, uh, application you have no reboot otherwise your uh, ec2 instance will reboot the current ec2 instance. then create one create image okay na so it will create an image click here you can see that ama is getting created this is a backup guys from this ama again you can create another pc tool so for example your application guy came to you and he requested you amar i need a like http application in 10 servers maybe different environments development ec2 instance testing ec2 instance production ec2 instance. so you no need to launch a fresh ec2 and install in login and install in every server simple what i can do first i will take only one server log into it install configure everything install and just stay the opportunity up and out guys so real time no one step sister so they will give different different command different different up uh, like we have to open the files and modify the things and save it like maybe it may take one week 10 days also to do that okay na? and uh, then simple create an ama from that then create two more ec2 instance so you'll get the same setup in all three or all 10 
So for recreation also you can use AMI. For backup purpose also you can use AMI. Okay, it's up to you. This is one of the way. Complete OS backup. Amar. Yes. Uh, a small doubt. Yes. Tell me. If we have created the image at particular at particular stage, will it get yeah. automatically back up for the future updates? What we have done in the uh, no, what no. we are doing no. in that instance, or else we need to no. take it another image? No, it's every every day you have to take separate. Example, photos. If you take a photo now, so will it be there uh, future uh, future poses also? No, right? Current pose only. Same here also. A yeah. mean whatever okay. you have currently while taking ami whatever you have only those will be available example later again you okay. are doing changes to your AM, your ac2 that won't be available here again you have to take the backup daily uh, daily okay. concept it is not one time okay okay yeah so is there any automation type of backup over here like what do we do in this yeah, that's what so here your idea is uh, that, that is what we need here the ideology so as i told already automation required because every day we can't sit with this yes or no along with this we get so many other tasks so that is your task here now yes. you understood what is backup what is emi right so now that is your ideology you have to again do some R and D. How to automate it? Punika, okay. to idea So obviously you yes. can do R and D no. Yes or no? R and D J H Manu. It will automate How many ways? Google on the YouTube on the so I can mention man and that's quality product. So Idi Mana Kawals in the guys. R and D always R and D ideologies. Then meeting came Jali, we explore Jals in the Apudumi experience of study. Okay? Yeah. So next, uh, this is one type of backup. So the next backup is, so as I told from here, I can launch. See, select launch. Or else, even normal way, if you launch also, it will show you. Example. So how you are launching? Instance launching, launch instance. Now here also, it will show you. See, okay, here also it will show you. This is what AMI. Okay, this is one type of backup. Now, disk level backup also you can take. Now disk level backup. Okay. So example, this is a smash up. So EBS volume uh, backup now. So we call it as snapshots. So select the disk. So example, let's create. I'm going to this folder. So let's create a few things. You know, sample purpose create just to know. Okay, now? Yeah, we have multiple. Now let's take the backup. This is. So as I told, this folder is mapped with this disk. So if folder like in this disk lo purchase it. So whatever I did in this folder, it comes to this disk, guys. Why? Because those are mapped. Okay. So in that folder, if I store any files, data, folders, everything, it will come to this particular disk. Always tags are important. Why? Why? Because 
you will have so many disks, so many servers, right? So always it should be something like this, server name, disk name, date, maybe simplify, simplified versions, not maybe this much big names and all. At least uh, it should be identified, unique. By seeing itself, you should understand which disk backup it is, which data, maybe date, like that. Okay, create snapshot. Now, photo, guys. Snapshot is nothing but again photo. The disk photo. Currently, in that disk, whatever you have, now it is available in that snapshot. is your disk this is your snapshot okay this is your backup now how this snapshot works simple example something corrupted here okay maybe i lost my file let's do let's remove one file okay i lost my file now i want to recover maybe intentionally or uh, by mistake and okay so something happened you deleted a file or folder now i want to recover how how to recover simple i can create a volume again from that snapshot nunchi malli volume create cheyachu and it should be same availability zone okay you can give the tag for that Okay, I created a volume. Go to volumes. So volume nunchi snapshot create just you can create a volume to snapshot, snapshot to volume. And AMA to EC2, EC2 to AMA. Both are possible. Okay, select it. Actions. Attach volume. The server name. It will show all the servers, how many you have in this. It will show all. As of now, only one. So it is showing only one. LSBLK. Okay. Now I have the hard disk. But uh, as I told, mapping is. This time, no format. Guys, this time you should not format this disk. Why? If you do format, what will happen? Format the same out of Data Motham both of So you lose all your data. This time no format. Because this is not a fresh disk. Okay, now we created from the backup. So you have the data here. Okay, you should not format directly map. Maybe I, I need one folder, temporary folder to map this. Because this disk I actually not required. Only for restoring the data, I am using this, right? So Temporary, maybe I'm creating one more folder. Missed one more app, one folder I'm creating. Okay, now let's mount this. Mounting is nothing but mapping, guys. Okay, now LSBLK. So now how, so if you go to slash app one folder, you can see the backup data, CD. Now let's copy this CP, D, and to which folder you want to copy your original folder. Okay. So now CD slash app. See, data is there. Now you can uh, remove this disk. How to remove? First, uh, remove the mapping, uh, unmounting. Okay, so the backup disk I'm removing now. Why two disk required? Not required, right? Already, now I restored it. So I have to remove it. Okay, so now go back. Select the disk. Detach volume. Okay, 
then remove it. Now you can see here, same information. Yes, it's removed. Okay, then you can delete this hard disk as well. Once it is detached, still it's in progress. You can see the status. In use, it should be available. Yeah, available means free. Know where it is attached. Okay, know where it has it is attached. Just select that, delete volume, backup volume. That's it. Okay, this is how you can restore. You can take the backups, you can take the restoration. And there are multiple ways, guys. I am showing AWS level backups. Okay, mm -hmm. so guys, did you understand the difference between AM and uh, volume snapshot? Hmm. Yes, someone saying something? Yeah, so uh, this volume so unexpectedly we deleted. So in that AWS instances, so how will recovery that? Yeah, for example, uh, here. Okay, here, if it is in use state, you cannot delete it. Okay. You can use law on the other, delete it, or option or other thing. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there is no option if it is in your state. Okay. Fine. Thank you. Hmm. So anyway, as I told you, you will take the backups already, right? Every day. It's a common job. It's not like uh, uh, only uh, you are doing something, upgrading. That time, the rose backup is kundam. Backup means restore just kundam. And you can restore it from backup. That is the reason backups are important always. Maybe by mistake, and if you delete also, still backup from backup, I can recover it. Yes or no? Always yes. data will be there. Don't worry about that. Okay. Backups are compulsory in real time. It's not option. It's mandatory. But so but how you are doing is. It depends on your project. Depends on your budget. There will be separate team if it is a big project. They will take care of it. So whenever you launch uh, a new EC2 instance, there are some default standards. I have to set up monitoring for that server. I have to install backup in that server. So I have to set up the host name. Like few. Uh, best uh, like a default process will be there compulsory we have to do that so automatically the respected task will be done okay na? sir yeah. i have one note yes sir um, for backup uh, you, you have created one snap and um, after that uh, from the snap you mount it to the disk and again you have taken you copied again to the old disk yes you're right um why don't can we do like um uh, we can use the same backup disk uh, as a default one and we can delete the old one now, right sir okay can we do so, like that my question okay good question only valid question but my question is so in example snapshot you take an study okay so you have the files only till study right okay now in that disk you did so many other changes also not only this file okay, okay. so example you have a b c d files in old disk now right now but in my uh, new i mean my default disk i have e f g also but unfortunately d deleted so i recovered d from the old disk if i use old disk as a default disk what about the current changes then Yes, it will be lost. Yes or no? Yes. So it is your requirement then. It is possible. Whatever you said is possible. When 
there are no additional changes yes or no yes sir uh, so it depends on your requirement okay sir I understand. okay yeah hmm. any questions on am and snapshot guys any questions i hope you are clear about the backup concept okay so can you please send these questions in group chat quickly so guys take these questions avinash please post in the group chat now oh, wait wait one more also one more also how to automate the backup snapshot and ams both How to automate AMI as well as snapshot backups. That means daily it should take automatically, not with your interference. Hey, AMI, just not AMI backup. AMI is backup concept. AMI and AMI means Amazon machine email. Snapshot SHOT. Uh, next question. I have an EC2 instance in India region. Okay. India region of server only. Now I want to build I need the same EC2 instance in right now. I have an EC2 instance in Indian region. So guys, without practice, you can't understand this. You need more number of hours. Okay, class is just to get the knowledge, not for experience. If you need experience, it is your hands, not in my hands. I have an EC2 instance in India region. Now I need the same EC2 instance in US region, Edoka region. US uh, four regions only, Edoka region. Okay, so what is the possibility? Copy J or Chai, the EC2 instance, can I move this EC2 instance there? Or else should I recreate it? Okay, so it is your uh, like uh, thoughts. So I need your thoughts here. Are within the same region different availability zone and a very data center scheme. So, guys, what is the difference between availability zone and region? Region means main location. Availability zone means within the location, like example, Mumbai is the region in India. Okay. And in Mumbai, multiple data centers, one, two, three, A, B, C, like that. Those are availability zones. Okay. So can we, can I have the, like a example I have in A data center, availability zone A, there uh, um, I have one server. I need the same server in B. So can I move it? Or else I have to recreate. How can I do that? That's my question. Maybe within the region, multiple availability zone, or else out of the region. Anything, both try. Okay, so these are your questions. Can you copy this and uh, paste it in the group chat? Everybody take these questions, guys, from the group chat and paste it in uh, your respected groups. Only one time, please. Paste it in the respected group chat, guys. Or else take the screenshot and paste it in your respected group. Only one time.
only one time for one group. Don't yes, copy paste one. Group, huh? That's not the group, I think. May 2020. Yeah, there are multiple groups, guys. Don't worry. You keep it in your respected group. Okay. Okay then guys, we'll meet tomorrow then, same time. Please work on your respected task, guys. You can't continue in the basis for example, guys, if you copy this first question, okay, go to Google. Can you please copy the first question? search explore copy the first question. So guys, same question I can ask in 10 different ways, multiple ways, not 10. Okay, now if you don't get the answer in this way, try to change the phrase. Okay, now. So enter. Okay, so guys, mostly you will get it. But if you are not getting, see, here you will get the predictions, basically. See, you are getting the predictions. Try to use those predictions. Edi nearby in the Adivad Pondi. Okay, now, so if I type it, try uh, try to type it, not copy. So while you are typing it, you will get the like multiple predictions. So, this is the Garagaundi. Dani base chess point search. Okay, now, so based on that, guys, mute yourself. Everybody mute yourself. Okay. While typing, you will get the predictions. Please use those predictions. Either which is nearby, you have to use them. Okay, see? In AWS, this one. Maybe, like, if you are not getting the, like, a proper answer, rephrase it. Same question I can ask in multiple ways. Multiple keywords I can use. And while you are asking one question, again, AWS will give other questions also. Okay, now, so please try to work on these also, guys. Then only you will get experience. Okay, now, if you ask one question to Google, it will ask again multiple questions to you. Related questions. Work on these also to get more experience, more knowledge. Okay, so, okay then, guys. Let's end up the call. We'll meet tomorrow then, same time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, sir. Bye. Bye, sir. It's more.